Hi. So let's talk about working in your own layouts versus working in the web viewer here. So if we look at this event, you know, half day this week, we can see we've got a lot of information about the event, about the customer's phone number, their email address, and that's all pretty configurable. In fact, whatever you can kind of put in a FileMaker calc, you can put into this window here. And you can also configure what's going on here. You, you can't just like add fields ad hoc here, but you can change these labels and then hide fields here if they don't make sense. And of course you can put, you know, whatever you need in here. But you may need to replace this with your own layout, right? You may need to work in your own layout. Maybe this event is a project and it's got hundreds of fields and all sorts of details and you just, this isn't enough for you to see. So there are a couple of options of how to work with this in your own layout. And um, let, let's check them out. So the first is, we click here, we get this popover. We have this custom actions gear down here. And if we click there, you'll see that the calendar ships with this example of um, a view event record action. Any buttons that you put here, um, we have some nice docs about how to add these. They run against this record. So the simplest one is just to go find this record. So if I click view event record, we're going to leave this layout, leave the web viewer, and go over to this record in our own layout. And the layout and everything and the, how this behaves is all configured in this script. It's real simple. So if I click here, boom, I've, I've left. And now let's say I'm on my project layout and I can do all my work, which is great. So it's basically a way to jump over to your own layout from within the calendar. And let's just go back to the calendar and look at one more wrinkle on that. You know, the other thing you can do, of course, is jump over to the related contact or the related project. These kind of do a similar thing. They just leave the calendar and go over to your own layouts. Okay, so that's the first option is you can leave. Leave the calendar, go to your own layouts. And the easiest way to do that, again, is with clicking on a custom action and using this view event record. And of course, you can change the name of this. This is all configured. So what if we just don't want to use this popover at all? We want to just, when I click on the event, I just want to go right to my FileMaker record. So that's easy to do too. And let's look at the script where you configure that. So that's done in the source settings. And when we come in here for source number one, that's the source we're playing with. We'll see this option here to show the event details in a FileMaker layout. And we've currently set that to false, so let's set it to true. And you'll see some notes here about what these options really mean. It's pretty cool. So set that to true. And then the layout that we're going to use is, is right here. So that's already been configured for us. We did that as part of setting, <coughs> excuse me, as part of setting up the calendar. So great. And by the way, here is where you configure those custom actions. Both the name of the button and the script you run are, are right here. But this is what we're doing. We've set um, this to true. So let's save this script. And then whenever we edit one of these uh, source load setting scripts, either this one or this one, we need to either close or reopen the file or run this script, which makes it appear that we did. So I'm going to run upon opening. It's going to kind of close and reopen the file virtually for us. Basically just loads our settings back in. Switch back to the schedule view. And now when I click here, I'm not going to use our popover. I'm going to use our own layout. And there it is, our own layout, which is pretty cool. So again, if your layout is very complicated, like maybe this is a, a patient's record or, a, uh, or a, a, a job, and you have a lot of fields that you just can't fit in the popover and don't want to cram into the description, just jump over to your own layout like this, which is really, uh, really helpful. You'll see that we've already configured the, um, this isn't modal, right? It's all unlocked. We've already configured one of the other sources to do this, and that source is uh, to do's and over on to do details we have this nice button here close and refresh calendar if you're really going to do this you might want to put this button on every um, on every layout you do it with because what's that what that'll do is once you in fact let's just copy it over here and put it on our actions layout that's right go back in browse mode um, so what that button does is, let's say that I change this so the event over here is currently um, paused. Let's say it's now awaiting approval. I can cancel. Yeah, it's gray. So I'll switch to gray. So now if I hit this button, close and refresh calendar, it'll not only just save this change and close this window, but it'll refresh the display back here, and that event will go gray. Right. Otherwise, I would have just closed the event, and I would have had to manually come here and hit reload to, uh, to get this thing to refresh. So those are the two options, um, you know, click on an event and go to it um, from the popover, so go to your own record, or change the scripts so that you just jump right over to that event record um, instead of using the popover. Thanks for watching.